Hello everyone, welcome back to Design Schooling. In the previous video of this series, we studied regarding different UI trends. These UI effects are most often used in graphical user interface design to describe interface objects that mimic their real world counterparts in how they appear and or how the user can interact with them. In this video of UI UX trends, after learning about the two morphisms, now let us learn about the next trend, which is glass morphism. Glass morphism is a design style coined by Michael Mailwicks from Hypefo Academy to connect and combine all the uses of the frosted glass effect in the UI. By categorizing it and giving it a common name, it became easier to find and learn about it from resources all around the web. But what exactly is glass morphism? So, glass morphism is a term used to describe UI design that emphasizes light or dark objects placed on top of colorful backgrounds. A background blur is placed on the object which allows the background to shine through, giving it the impression of frosted glass. Glass morphism UI is a card-based interface used for designing the user interface of websites, smartphones, web app, mobile apps, etc. based on three important effects that are transparency, that is the frosted glass, vivid or pastel colors, and a light border. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the glass morphism UI trend on a credit card in Figma. As you can see, the colors of the background are vibrant for you to understand the transparency and the frosted effect of the card. So, let's get started with the tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create great looking glass effect that is glass morphism in Figma. We will design a card for this tutorial. So, to start, let's create a simple rectangular shape. Bring the layer in front. We will give approximate dimensions to the rectangle so that it looks quite similar to a card. Adjust the shape as long as you find it similar to a card. Round the edges of the shape to 40 and place the shape exactly in the center. Now we will apply fill to the shape to achieve a bit more stylish appearance. We will add linear gradient fill to the shape. Set both the colors of the gradation to white and give different opacities. For the second color, we will set the opacity to 10 and 40 to first respectively. Adjust the angles of the gradation. Keep on adjusting the angles unless you find it perfect. Okay, now this looks fine. Now, to add effect to the shape, select the shape and click the plus sign next to the effects. Choose background blur which will give a perfect effect to make the card look glassy. Set background blur to 40. Let's proceed to the next step. We will add some stroke to create borders in order to establish better visual identity. Use gradient to create greater illusion of depths. Choose the color from the background for gradation by using the eyedropper tool. Adjust the angles unless it looks fine to you. Keep on adjusting the angles unless you find it right. Add more color in the line of gradation and set the opacities to 50 respectively. Set the stroke to 3. Now we will add another effect to the shape. Drop a shadow to it. I will use proper black color for the shadow. And set the blur to 24. Spread to minus 1. And the opacity of the shadow to 20 respectively. Now we have given a nice glassy effect to the card. Let's add some content on the card. Use text and icons 
to give the card some real effect. Set the text layer to overlay. Use proper font size and style. Bring the layers in front. Add only the required amount of content. Arrange all the content nicely and make it look organized. Okay, now this looks perfectly fine. We have an extra step to make the card look even more classier. For that, you will have to install the noise plugin. I have already installed it. Set the noise effect to the shape of the rectangle. Make sure the effect covers the entire card. And set the corner edges to 40. Change the layer to overlay and opacity to 10. We have a frosty effect ready. There you go, we have successfully created glass morphism in Figma. I hope the video was helpful. For more such amazing videos and series, stay tuned to Design Schooly. Until then, follow and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.